Good evening, us. Welcome back to our chemistry class. In today's class, we are going to continue on our previous lesson, which is Gram's law of diffusion. We have stated the definition of Gram's law of diffusion, and likewise, we proved out the formula in Gram's law of diffusion, how we can combine it. So we are going to continue on the application of that formula. If you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. And don't forget to share, like, and leave a comment. Example one, it takes 60 seconds for 120 centimeter cube of a gas wire to effuse through an aperture and 40 seconds for 100 cm cube of oxygen gas to a fuse through the same aperture. What is the relative molecular mass of gas? We're talking about two gases here, gas Y and oxygen. Now, let's, let's, let's take out our parameters. It takes 60 seconds for a gas Y. Time of Y is 60 seconds. And the volume of Y it's 120 centimeter cube. Are we there? From here, and also 40 seconds for 100 cm cube of oxygen. Time of oxygen is 40 seconds. Why? The volume of oxygen is 100 centimeter cube. Here we need to calculate our rates of diffusion, of effusion. Rates of y equals to volume of y over time of y. Volume of y is 120 centimeter cube, but time of y is 60 seconds. So this goes here, we have two here. So we have two centimeter cube per second. Now that's for the rates of oxygen. The rate of oxygen equals to volume of oxygen divided by time of oxygen. Our volume of oxygen is 100 centimeter cube time to be 40 centimeter cube. Zero cancel zero, four here one. Four goes in 10. We have two points, 2.5 centimeter cube per second. The next one is now to calculate the relative molecular mass of gas Y. We have gotten our rates of Y and our rates of oxygen, so we can now relate rates to the molecular mass because we are told to find the relative molecular mass of gas Y. And we can get the relative molecular mass for our particular, our oxygen. Relative molecular mass of oxygen, of oxygen, is going to be atomic mass of oxygen is 16 multiplied by 2, which is equal to what? 32. Now, Using the formula, one of the formula of rate of diffusion, that R1 over R2 is equal to square root of M2 over square root of M1. Our R1 is our first gas, which is gas Y, and our R2 is oxygen. So we have Ry over R of oxygen is equal to square root of that's molecular mass for oxygen over square root of that's the molecular mass of Y. Rate of Y is 2. 2 divided by rate of oxygen, 2.5. is equal to square root of, well, the molecular mass for oxygen is 32, over square root of that of Y. And that's a 2 over 2.5 equals to the square root of 32 over m y. Now, I want to remove that square root. In this case, I'm going to square both sides. Squaring both sides, square cancel square roots. So, when you square these two, I have 4, then 2.5 square. Square of 2 gives 4 over 6.25 is equals to 32 over my. 
The next step is to cross multiply. This times is 4my is equal to 6.25 multiplied by 32. So if I go side by 4, 4my over 4 is equal to 6.25 times 32 divided by 4. 4 goes in 4. Let's take molecular mass of y equals 2. So let's press our calculator. So we have 50. So the relative molecular mass is 50. It has no units. Example 2. 100 cm cube of a gas A diffuses through a small hole in 20 seconds. The same volume of oxygen under the same conditions diffuses in 80 seconds. Calculate the relative molecular mass of A. I have tried to bring out here what we did, the summary of the formula of rate of diffusion. You can also view the previous lesson to get more insight on it. Now, we are given that under CM cube of a gas A, this is the volume of a gas A on a centimeter cube. The same volume, which is on a centimeter cube, is also this volume of oxygen. I mean, they are having the same volume. When they are under the same volume, that is when time comes to play. In this case, we are given the time for that oxygen. The time for gas A. Time of gas A was given as 20 seconds. But we don't have... Uh, with the time for gas of oxygen, time of oxygen gas, that one is 80 seconds. If that is the case... We are told to calculate the relative molecular mass of A. Molecular mass of A, unknown. But you can get the molecular mass of oxygen to be 16. Atomic mass of oxygen is 16, multiplied by 2, which is equal to what? 32. Now we have to compare time and mass. So when you come to this place, we are having square root of M2 over square root of M1 is equal to T2 over T1. We know very really, really that the first gas here is A, second gas is what? Oxygen. So let's replace this one as square root of M oxygen, that's M2, over square root of M1, which is MA. It's equal to time of oxygen over time of A. Now we now input our values here. So we have square root of oxygen, which is 32, over square root of MA. So it's equals to time of oxygen, 80 over time of gas A. So zero here, one, zero here, one, two here, one, two here, four. So I'm going to have square root of 32 over MA is equals to 4 over 1. So square both sides. Square cancel square root, 32 over MA. Is equals to 4 times 4. We have 16 over 1. Because as implied, we have 16 MA is equals to 32. We now divide both sides by 16. My MA, that is 16 MA over 16, equals to 32 over 16. 16 goes in 16. My MA is equals to 2. So the relative molecular mass of that gas A equals to 2. So, we're going to look at the next example, but before we move on, try to like this channel, share it, and also leave a comment as we move on. Example 3. 60 cm cube of a gas Z, the empirical formula of which was CH3, diffused through a porous partition in 23 seconds. The same volume of hydrogen diffused in 5.9 seconds under the same conditions. What is the molecular formula for the gas? Now, this rate of diffusion was linked to empirical formula, which we have done in, our, in one of our classes. Now, CCCM cube of a gas Z, that is the volume of that gas Z. The empirical formula of which was CH3 diffused through a porous partition in 23 seconds. The time for gas Z is 23 seconds. Notice that. The same volume, meaning that this volume for hydrogen is still the same volume for gas Z. 
So we are not going to mix up that volume because they are constant, they are the same. But this energy now diverges in 5.9 seconds. So time for gas Z equals to 23 seconds. Y time for hydrogen equals to 5.9 seconds. Now, we can get the relative molecular mass of hydrogen. Why that of Z is unknown? We have to calculate it. Molecular mass of hydrogen equals to 1 multiplied by these two equals to 2. So from here, we can relate the formula of square root of M2 over square root of M1 equals to T2 over T1. Knowing fully well that this is for gas, second gas, square root of hydrogen over square root of the first gas, Mz, equals to time of Tz over time of hydrogen. Now let us input our values here. Square root of hydrogen, that is 2, over square root of Mz is equals to the time for Z Sorry, from here, T2 is our hydrogen. Hydrogen. Why this one is for our Z. So, time for hydrogen is 5.9 over time for Z, 23. From here, we have square root of 2 over MZ is equal to 5.9 over 23. Square both sides. Square root cancel. Square root cancel square. So two over mz is equal to. Let us square five point nine and twenty three. So this gives thirty four point eight one over square root twenty three. Five two nine. So let us cross multiply. So we have thirty four point eight one mz is equal to 2 multiplied by 529. We divide both sides by 34.81. So my mz will equal to 2 multiplied by 529 divided by 34.81. So mz gives what? 30.4. So that is the relative molecular mass of gas Z. But we are told to find the molecular formula for the gas. But before we move on, let's approximate this to 30. And relative molecular mass of gas Z is equal to 30 now. And this gas Z has the empirical formula of CH3, less in bracket N, equals to 30. Atomic mass of carbon is 12, plus hydrogen, 1 multiplied by 3, in bracket N, Plus 30. 3 times 1, we have 3. 3 plus 12, we have 15. That's a 15 N equals to 30. So you divide both sides by 15. N will give us 30 over 15. So N equals to 2. Now, the value of N equals to 2. So our empirical formula will now be CH3 bracket 2. So 2 times 1, that is here. We have C2H6. So the empirical formula for that gas Z is equals to what? C2H6. So these are the ways of using this formula of rate of diffusion. So you have to just be very careful in using them or not to mix one to the other. Harry Men Latif Ismail Akonbe, your mathematics and chemistry tutor. And I'm going to leave you with some assignments try to do it and you can also submit it to me directly on this number showing you on the screen thank you so these are the so these are the assignments try to lay your hands on these two assignments now before we move on or before we leave we want to look at the differences between diffusion and effusion diffusion means the movement of particles, gases, gases part gaseous particles from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower 
concentration. While effusion is the movement of gas particles through a minute aperture, through a small aperture. Diffusion takes place freely at any con at any time, while effusion also takes place under pressure. That is, before that gas can come out at a very small hose, it has to be forced out. So it takes place under pressure. So we are going to meet in the next class. We will be talking about another uh, topic under the gas law. Don't forget to share, like, and leave a comment. Thank you very much.